Hello everyone this is Ashish and this is Komal Taya and welcome to our podcast Talk and Five today we are going to have a very important topic of discussion that is depression how many people have you seen depressed these days like i'm getting messages all the time that 90% of them will be saying that i'm depressed she is also getting like 10, 20 30 messages on a daily basis i'm getting like 100 so i do not even read that much but she does she t- tells me all the time that this is happening with this person this is happening with this person and we have seen some like terrible stuff okay people actually dying okay and that is depressing and i do not think that we are in any state to actually do anything for their depression but because of lockdown because of the economy being hit because people are not able to work people are not able to study those kind of depression maybe we can do something and she has talked a lot about depression and we are like plus and minus in this field i'm a kind of person who's never depressed have you ever seen me depressed no look guys hmm. ashish is you know only i think 2% hmm. even i think less than that only 2% of people in this world hmm. will be like ashish you know ashish is a type of person who is always self motivated i hmm. don't need to give more motivation to him that okay ashish you can do it he is always self motivated if something bad happens to him he is always up to this thing that what i can do next hmm. not like not like sobbing over that things not yeah. over crying over that things mm. yeah you never do that so but people rest of people like me they mm. worry about situation they worry about what will happen they think about consequences they think about repercussions mm. they always they are like okay what will happen they they actually they are very scared of they results they get into negative spiral yeah, and the worst like thing that, is that when you are over there you're not doing anything like people have spent 5 days weeks months without doing anything because they are depressed that is problematic you have changed that thank you so much ashish i have to say mm. thank you uh, thank you to you for that because earlier i used to be like if something bad happens to me i'm lying on bed whole mm. the day mm. doing nothing i don't want to because at that time you are low everybody knows you are low mm. but at that time you are wasting your time mm-hmm. and you you realize me that you should invest you, you should utilize that time too yeah. and you should invest that time to your if you do nothing how will situations become yeah, better yeah, yeah yeah so see i did not know anything about depression and it is good that i have been with her so that i found out about depression now she has made a video on anxiety that is completely her set of thoughts and little bit of mine that i talked about how you can work on that but there's a video that i made on depression and that is completely because of her advices because i did not know what is depression and what kind of people feel depression and what happens to a person when they are depressed so me being me for 20 years i did not know what is going on inside a person's head while they are depressed i'm like your your depressed situations are bad do something about it but what to do if if you cannot do something about it because your brain has that click that when bad things starts to happen this is what i figured out by talking to you and when bad thing starts to happen there's a thing inside your brain the logic general logic says that even if i do something it is not going to work out and when that happens it's the trap that you are trapped in that right yeah you know ashish uh, what happens that at that time you are so vul- uh, vulnerable at mm. that time you are so victimized mm. you like anything any small thing is someone says ki why are you standing like this mm. that thing will pinch you mm. you know you are that vulnerable at mm. that time mm. and you know the ultimate solution which i see at that time that whenever i i did so that whenever you have to manipulate your mind yeah. if you need to what these things like i mm. know that i want to waste my time now mm. something bad happened to me that is stressing me out now what i'll do i'll just lay on my bed whole the day whole mm. the night doing nothing either i'm sleepy for two days either i'm just awake through mm. two, two nights mm. what i'll do what i'm doing i'm wasting my time yeah yeah so i think we need to manipulate our mind like that that okay we are going into that that zone mm. so uh, we need to focus on that and we need to deviate our mind because it is our mind mm. you know that is the best thing about this uh, this mental uh, disease can be controlled yeah they yeah. can be controlled by yourself mm, internal yeah, yeah they can be controlled by yourself only and you know that is the best thing also mm. and the worst thing also because yeah yeah so, worst thing is that maybe you do not know how to control it yeah. right or maybe that bad feeling is actually keeping you away from the solutions to the problem a good thing is that it is always possible if you keep on looking right so see uh, the depression whole thing of depression is no that it is a negative spiral right but at any point you always know there is a way to know that you are depressed there is no depressed person who is not going to know that they are depressed okay because you are not going things see if you are 
tensed or if you are having problems and if you are still working that phase will come and go but if you have stopped everything then that is never going to go it is going to get darker and darker and darker it is never ending right so basic aim of this podcast is to let make you guys do some stuff that is actually going to help you right no matter how bad the situation is you can always exactly. do something all yeah. right no matter if you're on streets no matter if you, if you if you're unemployed you can always do something right yeah you can't sit idle you know bilkul mm. complete uh, like completely doing nothing that will stress you out more that will make you more anxious yeah, yeah. so you know ashish ashish what i think mm. that the major pro- uh, major cause of this anxiety can be that people overthink about the negative situations yeah, yeah. what mm. i see that that only lead to anxiety mm. even that led to anxiety for me also mm-hmm. like that happened to me i used to think a lot about mm. what like the negative situation you know like if my if i have done something bad if like okay if i didn't uh, if suppose my uh, i gave gate exam mm. if i'm overthinking about that what will happen what if that mm. does if what if result is not in favor of mine what will i do after that i don't have any future i will not say like these thing will, will only lead to anxiety mm. will let you slip into this depression and all right so this will cause all these things negativity overthinking these are like the biggest enemies that you can have yeah. and i've talked very in a very detailed manner on both of these topics because everyone faces this all right so negativity is something that once you are afraid of that it is going to hurt you even more like it is like fire you can either learn to control it if you can learn to control it it can cook your food if you let it go out of control it will burn your house down right it is not my words it is by customato trainer of mike tyson right so it is like that only so once people start fearing the fear no if if you are negative and then you'll be afraid oh shit i'm negative now you are going to be afraid of that that because i'm because a lot lot of people are affected by that law of attraction bullshit also no that is <laughs> what whatever you think if you think good your good things will happen that from my experience i can say that yeah see everyone is ne- you think that mark zuckerberg is never negative or you think that who's the top most per- Jeff Bezos is neg- never Connor. negative. Conor McGregor is negative. Yeah. Conor McGregor is a kind of person who is always always going to look into your eyes and he is going to show that he's the most confident fucking yeah. guy in this world. He's not. Nobody is like that. Every now and then you are going to be depressed. Every now and then you are going to be negative. No matter how successful you get, no matter how far you get, no matter how many hap- how much happiness you get, you get all the love of the life, but still you are going to be negative every now and then. but people who know how to deal with it actually come through it otherwise there are people who get sucked into by it right they're going to be negative they're going to not do things as like it's going yeah, to keep yeah, on yeah. happening right yeah another thing is like overthinking the so overthinking is like you said no there's one thing common in overthinking people overthink about things that they cannot control right so exam result right once you have given examination you cannot control the result you cannot control when the lockdown is going to end you cannot control when the examination is going to happen you start thinking about it you will keep on thinking till you die okay it's never yeah, going yeah. to end right so these are the things that you will have to learn everything most of the things are in mental aspect only you know like doing things and doing physical work is just part of the game mental aspect is a big one that over time you'll have to master okay and depression negativity and overthinking take it as a challenge take it as a challenge that you'll have to learn because every person is different also every person is different and i deal with negativity like this i deal with negativity like this like you cannot negativity is like air in glass you cannot remove it out you can replace it with positive feeling that is something that i learned over experience will it work for you will maybe like customer to says that fire uh, fear is like fire works for me maybe it will work for you but you will have to actually find out what works for you and that you will learn from experiences you will never get experiences until you experience life and right now what you are afraid of that is experience too this bad situation take it as a boon and try to learn something out of it right you know ashish hmm. recently i instilled this thing in me hmm. that uh, that whatever day it is hmm. think that that instill that this thing in your mind that whatever day it is hmm. think it think it that this is your last day this is going to be your last day of your life there's a saying you know that that a, let me say yeah if you keep on living your whole life like it is the last day of your life one day you'll certainly be right yeah 
<laughs> yeah so obviously that that is going to happen yeah. but think that this is going to be your last last day so how you'll make your day like if it is your last day if someone informs Won't you, you that you this is your last day Won't you be more anxious like I have to do everything <laughs> No it's like you'll you are you know that somewhere in your mind you know that, that this is not like you're not dying you're not someone like but think like what if this is your last day what mm-hmm. all things you are going to do if mm-hmm. you think like in like that way i think you'll not feel anxious anymore yeah because uh, you are not worried about result yeah because mm-hmm. you'll you'll li- you'll try to live it to the fullest mm-hmm. whenever i'm sa- sad nowadays uh, what mm-hmm. nowadays i'm thinking that okay what if my this day is my last day on earth okay yeah mm-hmm. so i will try to live it to the fullest so enjoy your life it's only one life you'll all all you'll only realize it when you'll be hitting 60s 70s Yeah. I think the problem with a lot of people is that they are not having sufficient income. Okay, that is that is the reason behind a lot of depressed people. Okay, now we are coming to the yeah. reasons like what yeah. can what can trigger anxiety, what can yeah. stimulate anxiety. Yeah. So you are because of the lockdown, the trades have stopped, and you are not able to have sufficient income. Or people who are actually students, so their education is stopped. Can you imagine how terrible it would be like you are having college life and you have to go home and you are not even giving final year semester examinations and you are directly going to get degree and some peop- people will be happy some people will be they happy will be very happy that See, okay now now we don't have to appear for the exams and if, all if you have lockdown for like 3 days i think everyone would be happy okay you do not have to work okay who wants to work this lockdown made us realize that yeah we do want to work because ultimately we work for money all right so our case is different like we are the lucky ones okay so we cannot actually talk about that 100% yeah but yes for us also there has been problems for example you might not be knowing you'll be thinking that ah he makes youtube video from his home uh, when i left isro the plan that was yeah. in my head was that i'm going to do seminars all right now my seminars will be having 50 to 100 people and you know that seminar business has been hit the worst because you are having the biggest gathering that you can have but still i found other ways okay there is always some other way that is why i tell a lot of people that if you are interested in starting a youtube channel if you are interested in starting a podcast if you are interested in starting a blogging website start it what are, what is stopping you right now that is the only thing that is certain yeah right. what what i think ashish hmm. that apart from doing your regular things one should also rely on these hobbies and all yeah yeah that can make you like set you apart from this monotonous life yeah. which you are living that can also lead to anxiety and stress and depression all these uh, all these poisonous thing if i say yeah so that can uh, like that can help in staying you out of uh, this trap few yeah. days ago i think some student was saying that in interviews they generally ask that what is your hobby i'm not having any hobby in then <laughs> yeah maybe some interview okay i'm not having any hobby then I should about i that video? should i video is there a video okay and you're not talking about that video no so. there was i think in the comment section or some okay. message was there that i have to prepare for some interview and in interview they generally ask for some hobby i'm having zero hobby then should i just create a hobby like what kind of life would it be that you're not having any hobby yeah it it must be so boring like, like what did you like it can be do? like no don't you enjoy music just say you you just listen music latest music otherwise they not, they'll uh, ask question from traditional music okay do you know about that yeah that? some people do say that this is my hobby listening to music is yeah. a, and if watching cricket is a hobby then definitely listening yeah, to music is also a hobby like which you do in your past time yeah. like which you, which you do like if you have free time what mm. you'll do Yeah that is a hobby which you like to do. Yeah so what can be the reason that a person actually grows up without any hobby okay listening to music is fine and i listen to music and you listen to music that yeah. is perfect that, that's not our hobby okay my hobby is martial arts your hobby is acting and kind of things like that all right but there has to be some hobby i think it is the kind of structure or education that they grew up in that they are not having any hobby and this is the worst time to be if you're not having anything to do for example things will become difficult even for example your hobby is playing cricket now what are you going to do right now okay cricket is good okay maybe your hobby is weightlifting all the gyms are shut yeah right but still you can find a way out if you are having a hobby yeah you were saying yeah uh, i want to ask something to ashish hmm. what are your hobbies every everything it will be Which difficult to list in just my 10 fingers yeah It, okay let's sit down we have enough time <laughs> okay we have enough time yeah. martial arts is on top of it it's rocket science making youtube videos writing am i running out already 
<laughs> reading yeah uh then can i separate making videos from making podcasts yeah sure you can mm. building a business yeah uh make making my physique as good as it can gets yeah um other than that <laughs> yeah it was a good question but it is plenty right i was thinking you'll say spending time with you also spending time with you guys <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> spending time with her but again w- what is a hobby define a hobby yeah what like what you like to do in your free time that's But a lot hobby. of people turn their career hobby into their career also yeah that's right? what we are trying to do yeah we so we are trying to do that that only your ultimate goal will be to turn your hobby into your career only yeah. so it is not only that is success i guess <laughs> yeah, that, that is the definition, definition of success that yeah. if you are just turning your hobbies into your hmm. passion into your dreams and in your career hmm. so i think that is a success yeah okay coming coming back to the depressed people do yeah. you have <laughs> any advice yeah no it was the topic started from there only that yeah. if you had some hobby then you would not be that depressed okay so like i said i have multiple hobbies okay add some public speaking to that because that is a big one maybe on the third number right yeah. so my one hobby uh, rocket science did not get stolen but i gave it away but i love it so i keep on studying rocket science on my own right now yeah. second one public speaking it got stolen away from me because of this lockdown but yeah. making video ke- kept me going right i have yeah. always have something else to do i have reading i can read i can write all right so that kept me but if you have zero hobby right now then maybe it is the best time to start developing one right yeah in, in, in like you can utilize a lockdown in the best way possible if you want and what right. is all about like changing your hobby into a career why do we say that because the hobby is actually a skill you are learning something and it is valuable so you can actually in later phases turn it into a yeah, career yeah that will not bore you off after mm. doing like after doing after doing even the monotonous life after yeah. living the monotonous life also mm. you'll not be bored if you are pursuing your this hobbies mm. into career yeah 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 and you are a heartless you start of like kind of stop giving fuck about other things like I do not need anyone else to pursue this hobby yeah. so I don't care what you think. Yeah, one person yeah. was saying Ashish that in comment mm. section only that my uh, I have some passion mm. and my parents are against it so should I take a stand or not? Hell yeah you should take a stand. <laughs> what else like, will you stay with? It's you your life, mm. you know, it's your you have to live it and you know you, your parents may not be seeing that aspects Mm. but you have to take a stand for for you like if yeah. i have to take a stand i'll take a stand for myself yeah a so lot if, some, of if i want to do something like parents these days at, at least for india we can speak they'll tell you what to study they'll tell you what career to pursue yeah. they'll tell you what boy or girl you need to marry and yeah. they'll tell you when to have a kid and then they'll even tell you what kind of career your kid should be having i like freaking what am i deciding now then you are deciding your kid's career then you'll be telling your kid when to get married <laughs> and like you have to decide for yourself that is why so many people are so fucked up yeah like, they yeah. have been doing everything that they that is why you don't, you're not having a hobby <laughs> because you never yeah, listen to then yourself yeah and when you'll be hitting f- your 50s and when mm. you look back at your life and you like oh shit Mm. you'll be having so many regrets of mm. not doing th- those things which you always wanted to pursue mm. yeah so you uh, you will be like completely frustrated guy completely and you uh, you will be always uh, also imposing those things on your children also mm. like that pass no that pass is yeah. you know one more thing ashish i wanted to talk about this that mm. the numbers mm. especially in teenagers mm. that is surprising that you know in, on instagram and uh, i'm like daily on daily basis you you only discusses that i'm getting 20 to 30 messages daily yeah, you read about every, this depression every yeah message you also. know guys yeah. i may i may not be replying to every message uh, every message which i get in instagram mm. but i always take care of these messages which are, which are related to depression stress and anxiety yeah, yeah. because i know i have been through that mm. i know i have been through those emotions mm. and people usually run after others people always try to confide into others that if i get some person they just want one person to listen to and i always take that into consideration although that is not a good solution yeah we'll talk about that that's why that is not a good solution alcoholic behavior yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that is a very temporary solution yeah. we'll talk about that in the later phase of our podcast mm. but you know ashish that people i always take care of that i always reply to those messages because i know that can be on severe level also that people can be suicidal also 
when yeah. they are writing maybe like they are seeing something in me that's why they are opening up and yeah. you know it takes a lot first of all it takes a lot to open up to someone and if they are looking up to like opening up to me mm. so i feel very uh, first of all i always write i'm very ha- very much happy that you opened up to me i mm. always take and i always share my this this one video battle of anxiety yeah, yeah. because there i have uh, discussed every aspect of this anxiety and what you can do what how you can control it mm-hmm. yeah okay so um do you think that we should talk a little bit about growing in online platform or something like that ha yeah, you know you know growing in right online now, platform right no that is the also. only thing that is the most easy one you know sometimes ashish you know people like this uh, like this that people you know the suicides and all like people have everything they have fame they have mm. money mm. they have career they are pursuing their passion mm-hmm. still they do they commit suicide i don't think they are actually pursuing their passion Uh, yeah, i think you are you are talking about sushant singh rajput and we can we earlier the reason why we made a podcast on depression it was it was supposed to come along it induced from sushant yeah. singh rajput's death but right but then yeah. we started talking about other topic in the first podcast but we have to talk a little bit about that also do yeah. you think that he was 100% pursuing his passion i think and i have been there where i have been pursuing my passion in isro okay building rockets for a living what can be better than that for a person like me but over there also i found out that there's politics and uh, you will be told what to do so i think he must not be 100% free to do what he wanted to do at some time you will be told what to do and then you will be taking choices based on they will say that your career will be growing like this that is why i wanted 100% independence okay i want to run, learn right now about orbital mechanics they're saying that no go and study about this rocket engine I do not want to do it, it right now or I'm not interested in that right now I want to study this I want to grow like this in that field so I think that Sushant Singh Rajput might be having that problem also I do not feel personally that if you are 100% passionate about what you are trying to do if this is what you want to do and this is what you are doing and you are getting sustainable income out of that I do not think that you will be depressed. Do you think that you will be depressed while you're doing what that you? That can uh, that can be the cause can be happiness also. Like even that because you aimed something mm. that okay I'll do something mm. and that is your passion also. Mm. But even after reaching at that point, you are not happy. You are not fe- you are not at peace. That can be the case also. No? Yeah, because and uh, at for that him, time that person is discovering that that can what can be the passion for uh, him yeah, yeah. for him or her, her right? Because you can't be sure. because mm. until and unless you are not doing that thing how how come you will you know that okay that was my passion okay you also, did it you earned money now you found that your passion is something else how about you change that path you can always do that right so if you if you are dynamic like that i think his problem was something else with the personal matters that he was having with the relationship and all that yeah, might be actually a big the issue. media is saying mm. a lot of things you know a lot of speculations are there that he was playing some games and all that how can he commit suicide some mm. people are saying that it is Nepotism like karan johar yeah. and alia bhat are behind and nowadays suraj pancholi is mm. rising that suraj pancholi uh, was father of the, uh, his sushant singh rajput's uh, ex manager child disha disha was the name of ex manager okay. of sushan yeah. and you know like he like maybe he was the father of disha's child and disha also committed suicide before few days okay yeah hmm. before few days sushan singh rajput committed suicide on june 14th he committed suicide and before hmm. i think 2 3 weeks only disha committed suicide okay. so there like maybe there there is one angle coming i don't want to go into that because that can be Nobody rumors actually knows also what that happened. can be rumors also because yeah. and because you know you never know media also like media also because people are saying like kangana ranaut is saying that this whole media like that is run by this mafia and all yeah, all kind of things but like, you can only you control can, those so mainstream I, uh, media i never rely on these uh, media reports because you never know what is going inside yeah. what they are doing what is happening hmm. you know but lot of people open about their that uh, these all people some people in industry who are influential who are powerful they try to sideline them they mm. try to ruin their career after this sushant singh rajput the debate came out uh, came out like a fire you know it spread like a fire and lot of people like sonu nigam mm. and many people you know many people came out like they were also sidelined so i think there is one aspect to that also maybe he was sidelined you know maybe he was no, silent no and also can, he can yeah. he, he also he can have the personal matters also 
you know lot of saying that this case has to do with something with riya chakraborty also mm. you know so and with ankita lokhande also maybe he was his best friend told that he was missing ankita or like that the his ex girlfriend so that can be anything we can't say anything about that but i think he was very very dedicated person he always so shahrukh khan was anyone to reach that level yeah. you know one day i was checking before i think one or two years i was checking out his account instagram account mm. there he wrote what 30 list 30 favorite list what he 30 bucket, bucket list, list yeah, yeah what he want to do so that was so good that he want to send uh, 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 students to NASA. Mm. He want to on oh a uh, plot <laughs> yeah. on moon and yeah. many good good things that he want to something with uh, you know Shiva and all. And he was very much into the space and all. Mm. And he was very space enthusiast. You know, he's he was very intelligent. So I think he used to think in different manner. So maybe he was thinking like he was lost. Mm. because of all these thing that he was so much you know philosophical people also can be anxious also can be depressed because they think so deep they think so deeply they get into the thoughts that they get lost and they end up committing suicide because though they don't see meaning of life okay yeah that that might be true yeah. but see we just might be talking to a person who is suicidal maybe that person is actually w- watching right now so i like to say that If you are really following your passion, do you think that there will ever be a reason to take your life? Okay, I do not think because once you are following your passion, okay, you are doing it, you are making it sustainable. Like Sushant Singh Rajput, do you think that he is ever going to go broke? I do not no. think so. Okay, no. and he is having multiple passion. He he is mm. so much passionate about space technology. And today only we were talking that my God, we missed something. Like yeah, for example, we like how good it would be. Like Sushant Singh Rajput comes to my podcast and we discuss some space technology yeah, with him. Yeah, because you are a stro scientist, yeah. scientist, and he was Former, great yeah. space. Yeah, S- space. We can enthusiast. talk. Like he was very interested in that field, and it would have been such a tremendous podcast where yeah. we do not talk about that. But the thing that I'm saying is, what do you need? You're already famous. Okay, you are having passion. Then you can pursue it, whether other people know it or not. It does not matter. I think people get influenced by external sources, and uh, about this also I was saying when that news actually came out. No, why do you actually care? Why do you care if you're not handed over a prize or a yeah. award? Why yeah. do you care? You are doing acting. You are liking the script. You are liking the movie. You are doing your best. Like there are so many TV series actresses yeah, and actors. They are doing so good. We are both such a big fan of Jonathan Tucker. Okay, yeah, he's yeah. just playing a TV <laughs> series role him. in the movie uh, TV series Kingdom. Yeah. And that uh, yesterday only we googled his name also. The one who played Ryan Wheeler. Okay. Yeah. Small small scale actor. You cannot compare them with Hollywood actors or actresses. But definitely they are doing what they want to do. They are making decent amount of money. You do not care about name, fame, money. Once you start yeah. following that, your passion. So, if a person is suicidal, they have to go in the wrong direction somewhere along the way. Uh, yeah, along the way. Yeah, Shish, I think that that is complete. I completely agree with that. That okay, uh, because like that has nothing to do deal with that. How industry is treating me? Hmm. Because yeah, that, that means you matter. are you are caring about other people. How, how about they are judgment. seeing you. Yeah. You know, if you want to do it. Like if I I'm interested in acting, mm. if you will just put a camera in front of me, I'll start acting because mm. I love it. And no if someone is ready I'm to earning. produce, it does not matter if you are working for a web series or you are working yeah, for Bollywood or you are working for Hollywood. It does not matter because you love acting. That does not matter. If Forget you love about something. acting. If people are not letting you act, how about you start a YouTube channel, start talking about the yeah, Bollywood, you, what is going on? Or you are so big now, mm. you can do anything. You can start YouTube channel. You can start a podcast. You can you can she, make a can team. You can start a podcast, man. Yeah, you can how make a team of be. that people who have been sidelined, yeah. and you can uh, you're like Sonu Nigam. Sonu Sonu Nigam. Can produce the music for your movie, yeah. Because you are also sidelined, and according to him, he was also sidelined. Yeah. Also, other people also. Kangana Ranaut also uh, th- uh, told that he uh, she also wanted to work with Sushant Singh Rajput. Mm. That would have been a big hit. The only reason might be that he was under threat. That can also be possible. Yeah, there are mm. speculations. You know, mm. there are mm. speculations that he was under threat. Mm. You know, like lot of ke- lot of speculations are there that uh, some people forced him. Like mm. that is the if mm. you say that is the conspired murder. Like they didn't they they didn't uh, like they made him do the suicide. That was mm. the only option left for him. Mm. There yeah, was the one one speculation also, no, where Rhea Ch- Chakraborty was interrogated, and she said in her statement that 
when i was watching one movie and anurag kashyap i was watching one anurag kashyap's movie mm-hmm. and then uh, sushant singh rajput said to me that he'll kill me because mm-hmm. i rejected his movie yeah so uh, so riya chakrabarti said that shocked me mm-hmm. yeah that that seriously uh, sent fears through my spine now that is a completely different aspect and that is far away from depression it is like freaking murder yeah. okay now if like chester bennington also yeah. if you look at him the lead vocalist of yeah. linkin park killed himself i think two years ago i do not exactly remember the year yeah but what what can or the vocalist of nirvana what was it, kurt cobain no killed himself at the age of 35 or something like that in which i agree with you that you say that they do not find any meaning of life that if there's no meaning of life we can live it man doesn't matter are you happy every now and yeah. then have good times have drink with your friends or if you are having so much money you are you have already done what you wanted to do you can if if there's no meaning of life life is fun <laughs> you can yeah. go out you can hang out with other people every now and then you can do something or the other there's no reason to take your life right yeah ashish what i think that the only reason which after seeing everything mm. after seeing the rumors after seeing the speculations what can be the case i see that the only thing is that after reaching at that level also mm. that can be that level can be big for us Mm. but i think that level has become small for them so try to get higher yeah so it means they have lost the meaning of life it means they are not seeing anything ahead that what like i'm not feeling peace at this thing so that coming mm. back to your point only that else. it means that was not your passion uh yeah, yeah. it means See, they are not strong enough to do that it means they are not strong mentally i've been in, in their life. i've been in places where i thought that this is my passion worked for it for 4 5 years got over there found out that it's not then you find out something else your goal changes you do something else you want to be a farmer yeah. do that what is the problem yeah, with that yeah you went into isro yeah. then you then you discover these things that you are very much interested in public speaking yeah, yeah you have learned rocket science that what you were interested in and you are still studying it still doing you're it you are still doing it you are still teaching it yeah. yeah so now you are interested in public keep, uh, speaking now you are doing it that too yeah. so i think goals changes Go changes. Yeah. There's. I do not find any reason to take your life. What can be the reason for that? Like, if you cannot, that is something that is handed over to you. And every day, according to me, I just feel that life is so amazing. Okay, you always have so many things to do. There's so many possibilities. And the best part about life is that you have the control in your hand. And that is something that is threatening to most of the people. That it matters what I do right now. But that is the fun. that is like a video game the outcome is dependent on what you do right so yes you might fail yes your decision might be wrong but how about you go and see what it is what it is turning out to be why are you trying to be so safe how about you play this life where there is no repeat or replay button and you just try to explore more and more outcomes yeah yeah ashish i want to say something that the only the sole solution which i see is that just try to always just make your mind w- very strong mentally yeah. people who are completely all right you can also be under threat of this depression in future that can happen to anyone because mm-hmm. nobody knows what will happen in yeah. future mm-hmm. yeah so only thing which you can do is to make your mind strong strong make mm-hmm. your thoughts very strong mm-hmm. that okay if something bad happens to me i'm very much strong i'm very much brave enough to do anything uh, other thing also if if this thing uh, does not go in favor of mine mm-hmm. i can pursue other thing also i think that depends on mentality that's what i did i think yeah. diverting your mind making yeah, see, your mentality strong i'll tell you and i'll unlock a very important lock in your head all right now a lot of people will be thinking that i am not that strong that is another problem that i want to be that strong but i'm not that strong now here's the thing nobody is born that strong what happens is that whatever is the terrifying bad situation that you're yeah. having right now you learn from that all right and even if you fail in dealing with that situation you become better now th- there's a saying no you are running against 10 other racers you're doing 100 meters sp- sprint all right you you race with them like let us say 20 to 100 times every time you're coming last but you go and record your time your time will be better every time last time you did it 12 seconds and you did 11.9 second mm. you did 11.88 seconds mm. you will keep on becoming better that is the only way please do not be afraid of failures lo- losing and keep on playing life and keep on learning from each and every experience those are handed over to you like every second of your life every second is a new opportunity you play that you learn from that and you become better it is as simple and if you go like that 
I do not think that you will ever find a situation where you are suicidal. Okay. Yeah, you know, Ashish, I seriously hats off to everyone who, like, instead of failure, uh. they are thinking like this thought in coming in their mind that after you know, I think winner is not someone who is coming up every time, who is mm. topper, who is doing, who is winning the game. Yeah. I think winner, you win the game at that time only mm. when you started to rise up, when you started to give, even if at the second attempt also you are not able to win the game. Again. Again. but if you thought to rise up if you thought to not give up mm. th- that i think th- that is a winner that is a real winner it you is know? said no that if you are the best person in the class you are in the wrong class you're supposed to lose don't come to me and tell me that you have been the best for the last 10 years you're not doing everything right you tell me that in last year i failed 50 fucking times and i won one time then i'll say that you you're doing pretty much everything right that you can do that is that is what you should be getting comfortable with get comfortable with bad times get comfortable with failures and accept that that is 90 there was a movie i think uh what deadpool okay yeah. i'm pretty sure you have not watched it right no. so in that <laughs> there was a very simple line that life is a series of train wrecks with just advertisements of happy moments like you you watch yeah, uh, you watch a tv such se- a good line. you you watch watch a serial no that there, there yeah. will be like five minutes of break or three minutes of break that is the amount of happiness or the perfect moment in life that you're going to get i struggled to get into isro for five years okay the day result came all india rank four i'm extremely happy for four days what now now the next task what are you going to do next then either you are going to get stable and you're going to just stay like that or you're going to find something else and have a lot of shitty days that's yeah, it. Yeah. Get comfortable with bad days and get comfortable with this that you tag as depression. This yeah. is something that you have to learn to get over. You'll have to find a way out. Yeah, you have to keep going, Ashish. You mm. have to keep going because that is the only thing which will keep you out of all this vicious thing. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I think. Yeah, I think that is more than sufficient to no, conclude. No, is, is there I something think, else? Yeah, I yeah. want to say something like, what can you do if you are, because after doing Sorry. everything, if mm. you are not able to, if you are into that zone of anxiety, right mm. now, if you are feeling anxious, you are depressed. Mm. What you can do, what you can do at that time to control that thing. Okay. You have been there with me when yeah. I was suffering with that. Yeah, yeah. You know, I want to say something about that. Mm. You know, guys, if you are feeling anxious, please don't run after others. Don't confide into others that if I'll if I'll get pampering from others, if I'll get love from others, if I'll talk to someone that I'll be I'll be fine. I'll that will thing help me out. That will calm me down. This is not you know this will oh, this is a temporary solution, guys. If you are alone, if like nobody is around you, like you should be independent. No, you should be completely independent. What if you are alone? Then what you will do? Suppose if you are going out, then your friend will not be there to support you. Mm. No, like suppose if no one is there to talk to you at that time, what then you will that's, do? That's when people yeah, commit suicide. Yeah, a solution. Yeah, solution should be there. Uh, solution should be there, which should come from within. Hmm. That should come internally. So I think I have three to four things. Like yeah. don't think like if you are going into that zone, if you are going that okay, you are uh, you know that that thing you have you are feeling restless, you have breathing issues now, you are crying, you are shivering, you are like many things are happening. You know that you are going into that zone. Anxiety. Just start deviating yeah. your mind because you know that your mind uh, you, that you are your soul is much stronger than your mind. You know, yeah. So you can control your mind. So try start deviating your mind that okay, I today I won't let my mind to uh, let me slip into depression, into anxiety. I will not do that. And you'll and fail ten times out of eleven. Yeah, but, but when you, you will feel that trying. powerful, no, your mind will automatically will get deviated. You yeah. know, and also that this breathing, like uh, try uh, try to inhale from nose like this. And then exhaling from breathe this mouth. Breathe from your nose. Yeah, breathing. Your nose. Deep breathing till 30 to 60 seconds. See, that, that is make, something that, that I told her. Wonders. I'll, I'll yeah. tell you the reason behind that. Yeah. Okay. When you're panicking, and this is something that I learned from examinations. Okay. Because in India, probably examinations are the most terrifying things because the whole life is dependent. Yeah. Okay. Don't like that situation, but this is what it is. But when you face that pressurized situations, you learn a lot. So what happens now when, when your, your brain is just jammed, so you have to understand that oxygen that you're breathing is actually very important okay you need those oxygens to help your cells to actually work mm. you're cutting off that breathing that is not going to help you in any sense all right yeah. so your your thought process that is going on your body that is running it will need air 
so yeah. that is that is the main reason for breathing properly she missed it out i think in her anxiety video also so that is why i no i i i included it okay okay hmm. okay go ahead next one yeah one more thing that exercise hmm. that okay. will do wonders yeah. that will help you like that will release the dopamine in your yeah, body that, that will important. yeah that will uh, re, uh, that will boost serotonin in your body that yeah. might be one of the biggest reason why i'm never depressed maybe because how long i've been working out since i was like yeah, 14 I, 15 years old yeah. i've been continuously into martial arts there's yeah, not yeah. been a week where i've not worked at least 6 days this a is, week yeah this is a hormonal game yeah. you know if you do exercise on daily basis you will yeah. see changes yeah mm-hmm. you will see changes that okay you are not depressed you are happy you are active you are not lazy mm-hmm. you want to do you have energy you want to do you are your craving body for is doing good. That yeah if your body is good you are feeling good nothing will come to you like this anxiety and all things will mm-hmm. come to you and saying no no come here <laughs> yeah yeah see uh, your your mind and your body is very much connected if you feel good you do good if you feel good physically your brain will produce good thoughts yeah. all right if you feel bad physically brain will produce bad thoughts and this, here's the good thing this is the upward upward spiral you feel good physically you produce good thoughts those good thoughts are going to tell you again to work out and do good and what is the right logical way to execute the life and then you're going to do more of that it's kind of an upward spi- spiral and over time in the beginning everything is difficult keep on doing it it becomes better yeah and don't let someone affect your mind that okay someone is saying don't let them affect your mind hmm. because that can also lead to these all things because if you are very sensitive to yeah. all these things so you'll feel more vu- vulnerable and people will uh, people will utilize that only to bring you down so always remember make yourself very strong that if someone is saying something to you and give give back to them if someone is saying okay don't i don't think so if someone is saying you are lean say i don't think so I don't care okay and you should yeah. stop caring about what others think about you you can never ever live up to their expectations no matter yeah. what you do you'll always be told that you're not good enough it does yeah. not matter and here's the other other problem that I learned from running these youtube channels and dealing with public that this is the problem with human beings you are not going to listen to 99 who are telling good things you're going to listen to one who is going to say that bro build some biceps that is the problem so that if you start shifting that yeah i'm lo- going to look at the positives because yes every time someone or the other will be saying that yeah you are good you're doing good but you'll not be listening to them yeah. right you know some you know uh, ashish and i have recently instilled in us that he always deals with the n- negative people and negative comment like cool and <laughs> i always say get well soon <laughs> cool. because i i i seriously think that they are some really somewhat uh, mentally sick that they are passing those comments and one day they'll realize cool. they are so they are so messed up in their own life that they want to spread negativity they want mm. to spread toxicity mm. yeah yeah because if you are that much happy they are very much jealous yeah, yeah they they can't see that okay if i'm very much messed up i'm completely screwed Lot how can they be people want to bring you down also yeah yeah that's w- mm. that's what they are trying to do i always say get well soon you can also try to say that get well soon buddy like mm. it will happen you will pass the such bad times yeah very mm. soon yeah S- so many haters man we have seen so many haters over the time so yeah. you see i'll we'll upload one video and there'll be three to four dislikes already so many youtubers are depressed also that is why we have seen couple of people they are going to take their dislikes and negative feedback so seriously they are seriously. making separate video on, <laughs> on that that okay uh, to the haters who are disliking my disliking my video i won't spare you or like that yeah. this is such a bullshit no that is kind of disrespect to the people who are yeah. actually praising you why exactly. aren't you listening to them make a video for them anyways yeah. Uh, we are not going to get into much about what it is like to be a creator you have i think you have discussed all the four points no yeah we are trying to bring up of how to grow in social media let me know down in the comment section we may be making a podcast on that also that is very and important and one more one more podcast will come on body shaming and yeah, all that yeah that is important like, like how black uh, black or skinny people or uh, short dark, or darker. any any type of anything like indians like, are probably the most racist people in this world yeah <laughs> when I it know. comes to color man my god these days i think it is reducing oh, a little bit yesterday who was liking the video of guy who was from jharkhand <laughs> that is not racist that is like just, where you grew up okay uh, like, so if if someone from india goes and fights in ufc god damn it does not matter if he is fighting against conor mcgregor i'll be <laughs> cheering for him and if he's from jharkhand man i'll be cheering that place man because <laughs> that happens like he, that he's, he's from where i am okay yeah 
so that is completely different but I'm if you just pulling a like okay uh, so if you're from jharkhand let me know down in the comment section <laughs> she is from haryana by the way okay <laughs> Now it does not matter I love everyone yeah but uh, I easily get jealous up with everyone <laughs> that's my personality okay mm, yeah so i was basically saying that yeah we do care you can look at it i think it is more with like if you're looking for arranged marriage and stuff like that those are going to look at the color of the skin you know it is it is even worse in south india No, so, in Haryana also it's very bad. At my side, it's color, very bad. Color, okay, yeah, color, color is issues issue. are there. Yeah, color yeah. issues are there, and there's all uh, color issues are there, and this whole health issues like your skin. Yeah, I grew up like this. Like, like I'm, I'm not that dark. Even but I everyone, used to be you know, you know, Ashish yeah. till twelfth, I, I never listen anyone. Like I have never heard anyone saying me that you are lean. Oh. The moment I entered college, everyone's <laughs> like, "You are so lean. You are so lean. Don't you eat anything?" Like, I was like, "Okay, I never felt that way." And mm. if you start getting such thing continuously, mm. you start getting depressed. It hurts sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it it is a problem. Okay, and bullying and all that is also an issue. Yeah, those are the topics of discussion for some other day. Yeah, okay. we we'll surely discuss that. Please let us know if you are liking this podcast. If you have some suggestions, yeah, please, please let us please know. Please feel free to the, comment in the comment section. A lot section. of people were asking, "What is the reason of this channel named Amalgam?" You want to explain? Yeah, I want to say one thing that a lot of people. were very curious to know about the name that why i named this channel amalgam so guys chemistry wise i also studied it in chemistry since i am a mc in chemistry so i studied in chemistry in lower classes only that amalgam is there and amalgam is an alloy of mercury that is mixed with other metals and like that and it's, it's used for dental fillings right and uh, that is a medical use mm. but also in english meaning it's the meaning is mixture or blend mm, yeah. yeah so we are tr- we are thinking of doing several things on this channel so i think Nothing would be better than naming amalgam. it amalgam, and, and that it is, is why so I cool. said, I have been fond of this name since childhood. Yeah, you can you can put any topic in the comment section, and we are going to respond if it is logical yes. and if needs to be talked. Okay. Yeah. So I think that's about it for this one. We talked long. I think it is longer than the last time, but uh, we had fun. I yes. hope that you had fun too. Let's have a high five, high five, high five. The the audio version, <laughs> the audio version of this will be available in Spotify, Google Podcast, Anchor, and all yes. the audio platforms. I'll link it down in the description box, just in case you want to just listen to it. You can even download it, so that's good for you. And uh, that's about it. We yeah, and thank see. you so much for showering so much love. Yeah, this this channel shot up real good. Okay. Yeah, like I had only one, like thir- sorry, thirty nine subscribers, and yeah. it has crossed four hundred. And I'm so much over. And the views. I'm so much grateful to each and every one of you, and I love each and every one of you guys. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's about it. See you next time. Till then, bye. All our links of the social media and all that will be down in the description box. Yes. See you next time. Bye bye. Keep smiling. Bye.